All right, next question is from the Bad Mad Scientist. When I wake up, I feel very stiff and immobile, and it takes me a while to regain my natural mobility. Welcome to the club. I'm what real, can I do? In the morning. <laughs> what can I do before, during, and after I sleep to help me wake up and move better? Yeah, a couple of thirteen-year-olds. <laughs> well, mine was like legit. This guy over here went the other direction. I was. I don't like, know where you guys' minds are. <laughs> yeah, uh, just as like I'm I got. I'm just echoing. I you. got a remedy for feeling stiff. And, <laughs> so here's the deal. All right, let's get serious. So um, number one, your the, the studies will show this. If your sleep is not uh, optimal you will wake up with more inflammation and pain. So make sure you sleep well. Have a sleep routine where, you know, a couple hours before bed you prepare by turning down the lights and you can relax. Make sure you have a good environment for sleep. The right temperature helps quite a bit. I know when I use the uh, the chili pad, for example, um, I wake up less stiff in the morning than when I don't use it. Um, inflammatory diet, that kind of stuff can also play a role. How comfortable your bed is. You know, uh, if you've ever slept on a bad bed, you know what a difference that makes yeah. when you wake up in the morning. But let's say that you forget all that and you still wake up stiff in a mobile. Yeah, you, you, you definitely can wake up and, and stretch and do five minutes of mobility. Well, I've noticed this just with myself in terms of changing up my workout routine uh, made a massive difference. Mm -hmm. uh, and that I didn't realize just doing my normal barbell training, I had to you know step away from that for a bit and, and work a little bit more on unilateral kind of training and uh, you know, give my joints uh, some time to, uh, to work on stability again. Uh, and that really helped because I would wake up in the morning stiff, like my hips would hurt, like my shoulder would be achy. And, uh, you know, it wasn't until I sort of started changing up my workout routine where that sort of got alle alleviated again and then I could come back to it. So this is similar to what happens to me if I get like a lift in and then I go for like a three hour plus drive too, where you're just in a fixed position uh, after yeah. you've trained really hard. So you know, and, and I know that, and I know this now, right? So I know if I go like heavy squats and then I got to drive three hours or whatever like that, if I just ignore doing some mobility work before I get in that car, I'm going to pay for it. You know, about an hour and a half in to two hours in, you're going to see me like rocking forward in the in the driver's seat because my low back is all tight. You're going to see me shifting around because my feels like someone's stabbing the side of my hip, like my IT is like on fire. So if I don't do it, but if I get down and I go, okay, I know I got to drive three and a half hours or more, if I get on, get down and I do some 90-90 mobility work before, it's a night and day difference. The same thing goes for before I go to bed. I know if I train like heavy squats or deadlifts, if I do not do some foam rolling or some mobility work before I go to bed, I know I'll wake up and I'll pay for it. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, and, and that's going to be different for everybody. For me, it's low back and hips. Like that's the, that's the big difference. Like I don't really wake up with tight shoulder issues or upper back stuff. It's always in my hips. It's either my IT or my low back, which is all hip complex stuff related, which is all 90, 90 for me. So if mm -hmm. I get down before I go to bed and I do some 90, 90 drills before I get into bed, I wake up totally different than if I just ignore that and I know I train hard and I go to sleep then I'm paying you for know it. I also use that feeling of waking up and feeling stiff as a very effective sign um, of at, overreaching well or just mobility issues in oh, general yeah. like I may not notice during the day and when I'm working out that my back uh, bothers me um, but if I go to bed and notice when I wake up I got to kind of crunch a little bit before I sit up or I got to roll differently to sit up and then my back's a little stiff and then it feels better that's kind of an early sign to me that, okay, I'm lacking a little bit of core stability. Mm -hmm. I'm only noticing it right now when I wake up uh, from, you know, from sleep, but if I don't answer it now, if I don't fix it now, then it's going to start turning into problems when I'm yeah. awake during the day and when I work out. So I'll, oftentimes you can use this as uh, a little bit of an early, like a canary in the coal mine. Indicator. Yeah. Here's another thing too. You can go to you can have uh, anti-inflammatory natural foods right before bed, and this may actually make a difference. So, I like um, turmeric is a great uh, uh, food you could take before bed. Uh, Organifi's gold juice um, has lots of turmeric and anti-inflammatory herbs and plants in it that you can drink before bed. Um, also that, helps for calming you down too. Calming, great. You, yes. So those things make a difference. Uh, bromelain, bromelain is an enzyme that if you take on an empty stomach. So if you take it with protein or with food, it's an enzyme that breaks down, uh, I believe, proteins. But if you take it on an empty stomach, bromelain has a, quite a remarkable anti-inflammatory effect. So if you, you know, let's say you ate at eight, you know, 7 p.m. for dinner, but you go to bed at 10, that's three hours, empty stomach. 
take you know some bromelain, go to bed, see if that makes. Yeah, a difference. that one was trippy. Like I remember I had uh, talked to you about that, and then one of my clients had really swollen knees like constantly, and, and supplemented with bromelain made a big difference. And it's it's natural. It's it, like from uh, pineapples. It's right? remarkable how effective it is as a natural anti-inflammatory. Um, but yeah, you you can do those things too, and they're natural, so they're not like you know NSAIDs or aspirin where they have those types of side effects. They're usually pretty safe.